everybody, my name is Quick, and it's finally time for the q and A. I I left a few days to ask, um, answer, like, bleh, I left a few days so that people could answer some questions if they didn't see it um, immediately. And um, we now have 180 comments, which is amazing. Thank you so much for all those comments. But it also does mean I can't answer them all. So if I don't answer your question, I'm very sorry. There's a lot here. I want to answer as many questions as possible. So let's go. I have my iPad here. In fact, let's take it out of the case. Okay. When are you going to make a series with us brackets fans? Well, I wouldn't call you guys fans because I don't really think I'm more <laughs> famous enough for that. But um, I would love to do a series with you guys. Amazing. That'd be awesome. I um, may be thinking about doing a series which is made in creative, played in survival. Meet some amazing friends that do that. And uh, maybe you guys could be acting in the video. I don't know. As soon as I can get a server, basically, I can um, run 24-7. How did you meet Piper? I met Piper through my first ever SMP. Now this was about eight months ago. I decided to make an SMP with like two of my friends and we put an audition video out and I think she was like the second person to get in. And it's like, I've known her for so long. When it was Minecon, it was the first time I'd met her in six months. And I don't think I ever mentioned that in the video, but when I first walked up to her and everyone, it was the first time I'd ever met her. And it was literally like meeting an old friend that I'd never seen, and it was so nice to finally meet her. And I met her through basically her applying to a video. She started her channel so she could actually apply to the SP, so uh, I'm the reason she started her channel. <laughs> no, that's not what we're talking about. But yeah, I met her through an SP, and I'm so glad that I could finally meet her in person at Minecon. What is my favorite book, and what is my favorite subject? My favorite book. I don't, I have to, I've, I've literally got so many. I love the first Hunger Games book, first one. I liked, um, I've literally forgotten what I was gonna say. Zoella's, um, I know it's Zoella, you know, typical, but um, I really did enjoy her book, Girl Online. Um, I like Joe Grisetta's biography, I found that really amazing. This book called Camel Riders, I don't even know what it was called. I don't even think it was called Camel Riders. What even is Camel Riders? That's not even a thing, a book, it's over there, I can't remember the name, but um, I don't. I used to read a lot, but I have so many. And my favorite subject is either graphics or history. Um, I'm gonna answer two of these questions. How old were you when you started YouTube? Well, when I made my channel, this channel, I was 12. Um, I was 12 and I'm 14 now. So two years ago, I made the channel along with my main channel. However, I've had a YouTube channel for about three years, um, but I didn't upload. So I was 12 when I made it, but I started making videos when I was 13. And where do I see myself in five years? In five years, I will have completed my current school. I'll be in, I think I'll even be going into university. I'm not, I know you can't even work it out, I'll be, I think I'll just be leaving my second, the next school after this one. And YouTube wise, I would love, absolutely love to still be making videos. Honestly, it really depends if um, I have the time, you know, sort of where I am at on YouTube. I would love to still be making YouTube videos in five years. I'd like to say that I still will be. It really depends. I'm just going with the flow and seeing where YouTube takes me. What made you think of the username Real Squig? Now, I've explained this a few times, but basically, I've been called, I, I, I explained it in survival games, but I've been called um, Squig since I was a baby. So anyone who out there with the name Squig probably hasn't been called it as long as me. I've literally been called this since I was a baby. My parents nicknamed it because I like wriggled around. I squiggled around a lot. So they nicknamed me Squiggle and went down to Squig. And I've just stuck with it since. It was on my back of my football shirts. My school friends used to call me in primary school. It was literally just my name. Um, and whenever I went to go create an account like um, Moshi Monsters, I know, right? I'm very back to Moshi Monsters and Club Penguin. Somebody had already taken the username Squig and I was like, wait a second, I'm the real Squig. Hello. So I changed my name to real Squig and it kind of just stuck. It's, and then I changed it to my IGN on Minecraft. I started I called myself a real squig on Minecraft and then it just went on through to my YouTube account. So yeah, I've been called it since uh, birth basically. Favourite series on my channel? Um, I don't have them. They're all amazing. Clubs are awesome. And favourite leprechaun? Niall, you are my favourite leprechaun. Who inspired me to start YouTube? I've answered this in the previous Q&A but I'll really quickly go over it. Basically, any gaming YouTube that I watched two years ago, gaming YouTuber I should say, so Joe Graceffa, Stacey Plays, those types of people. How much effort and time do I put in these videos? I put so much effort and time into videos, it's unreal. Um, and that kind of just, just because I enjoy it so much. How excited were you when Stacey featured you in her vlog at Minecon? I honestly, I walked up to her and I was like, fangirl, and I was like, <sighs> Literally me and Piper like hyperventilating, Piper started crying, I was just there like crunching on my drink. It's in a Minecraft vlog if I can find it, it's here. Um, so um, I went up to get a signature. She knew who I was, she literally said, hey I know you, you're Squig. And I was like, Bay, 
no knew who I was. I've been watching it for two years. She freaking knew who I was. It was amazing. Um, and I didn't know she was going to put this in a vlog. She literally said, hey, why don't we vlog this after I'd got a signature? And literally me and Piper got put in her vlog. And it was so exciting to think we were in the person that started inspired us to make YouTube videos. So just think about it. Say your YouTube hero is Aya's Cupquake. Imagine um, going in her vlog. It was amazing. She was actually there as well. And I did meet her with Stacey. And it was just so amazing. And I think me and Piper were both absolutely hyped because this was our YouTube inspiration. How many siblings do I have? I have one sibling, she's called Katrina and she is 17 and um, basically 18. And yeah, she'll be in a video, don't worry. I will make that happen. Did I wish I had a other channel um, rather than just gaming? Well, I did originally start with another channel and I made a stupid mistake to tell everyone at school that I had a channel. So basically this led me to upload two videos one was a penny morning video and one was a, um, a skiing video um, and I've kind of wanted to make sort of other videos not just Minecraft related but I told my friends at school and they all know and it's embarrassing kind of so now they don't actually know about this channel or my friends do but not people at school so I generally just choose to upload stuff onto here but yeah I do kind of wish I had a different channel where I felt like I could upload videos other than Minecraft because I feel like you guys won't enjoy those types of videos that aren't Minecraft and I feel like I don't really want to upload them to that channel because everyone knows about it. Dog or cat or how many subscribers will you have at the end of the year do you think? Dog definitely, I would love a dog, been wanting one all my life and subscribers at the end of the year, well, I don't know, I would love to hit 3k by the end of December so like start of 2016, we're 300 away, we've got like 3 months to go, we can do it guys, I would love that to happen. Um, but yeah, at the end of the year, I think that's my goal. Am I going to do videos with only Isabel? Now, I featured Izzy in a few of my videos and I linked her in one of them because she hasn't had a channel. She's actually now got videos. You need to subscribe to her. She is in the description below. She makes awesome videos. They're not Minecraft. However, they're really high quality vlogs. She's got like a few videos on the channel. She's done like zombie tags, which she's tagged me for. So I'll be doing a tag soon. But yeah, you need to check her out. She's awesome. And I will be doing further videos with her. She's just so, so, so busy with dance. I'm really busy with YouTube. We just haven't had a chance to record. But yeah, she's my best friend. She's IRL friend. We are really good buds, so hopefully I will be doing further videos with her. Who was my first crush? <laughs> I feel like I should answer this because it is a get to know me video type thing. Um, I don't know. I probably had a crush on a boy in primary school. It was, <laughs> I don't know, someone in primary school. I probably had my first crush at like, I don't even know, probably like, you know, you always fancy them people of high school musical or something like that. I really don't know. Sometime like that. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, and also, what was your life like in secondary school when people found out that you were famous? Um, this is going to be awesome as usual. Um, I haven't... A lot of people at my school do not know. And I'm grateful for that because I prefer to keep it private and then I feel comfortable making videos. If everyone knew at my, um, my school, then I would feel really uncomfortable making videos. I wouldn't class myself as famous either. And if they do find out, I'm just going to be chill. I'm just going to be like... You know, can we just keep this, keep this from school? And um, yeah, they don't actually know. What is your favourite colour? Um, my favourite colour is like cyan, like my skin, blue slash like mint green sort of colours. And which series is your on your channel do you enjoy the most? Probably survival games. I know I kind of answered this before, but I think it is survival games. And for the further thing you left on the comment, thank you so much. I love you. Um, what would you be doing right now with, without YouTube? Honest to God, I would be sat at home doing nothing, watching TV. To be honest, I probably would be a lot more social and I probably would have a more like fun life because in year seven when I didn't really have Minecraft, not gonna lie, I was quite popular in my school. Then I discovered this video game called Minecraft like in year eight and my life kind of social life went down the drain. I still have friends obviously, but um, I mainly focus on my YouTube channel um, in like you know in the evening and rather than I do go out with my friends obviously but like I focus on this and I would probably be either going out with friends or sitting at home being bored because I remember when I didn't have Minecraft I remember being extremely bored and just watching TV and being really depressed at the fact that I had nothing to do do I play any instruments good question I used to play the violin for like six months I gave up on that I started to learn the ukulele by just videos and my friend Izzy gave up on that because I don't have a tuner and it's really hard and it's just I don't really have time because I focus on YouTube and at one point I thought I could play the guitar when I was about five 
So no, I don't play any at the moment. Was I afraid of something that I now think is funny slash stupid to be afraid of? Um, I guess making YouTube videos. I still kind of am when I put out a video with my face and I'm a bit self-conscious. Um, I do still get nervous about putting out videos sometimes. And like I said before, I don't put it on my main channel because I am afraid. But Minecraft videos, I guess I isn't scared to be... You shouldn't be scared of being putting out videos out there. You should just go for it. I know there's a worry about people finding out, being bullied. But honestly, it has changed my life. I've met so many amazing people through this. And without that, I wouldn't have met these people and it's made my life a lot better because I've been able to meet these amazing people that have made me really kind to me and we've just had great times. So I am glad that I did upload a video and I think it, oops, although I think it, I sh it was good to be scared of doing it, I now think, you know, you shouldn't have been so worried about it, about making Minecraft videos. Do you think you'll be a really big YouTuber one day and have whatever number that is? To be honest, no. Would I love to? Yes. Am I going on? To, am I planning on going to Minecon 2016? Um, if it's in the Europe, maybe. If it's in England, of course, or surrounding areas. If it's in America or anywhere else, probably not. It really depends where it is, travel costs and accommodation. Because this year I got in for free. My accommodation was free because I stayed with friends. So it was only travel I had to pay for. So maybe really depends what other conventions I go to. What do you want to be when you grow up? Of course not YouTube. I would love to go into something that had something to do with editing. For example, you know, people edit um, things for the TV, like programs. I would love to do something like that or work in like, I don't really know, maybe work on an online website. I love working with the computers and I would kind of want to do something like that when I'm older. Um, if you could be anyone for a day, famous or not, who would you be? I love to, I always think about this and I always love to be someone else. I might think about, you know, being a really famous YouTuber or being someone really famous just to see what their life was like and the struggle. Maybe like, I don't know, just me or something because we all know he's got a lot of hate and I would be interested to see how he handles life. Um, but then also maybe just with my friends, just see how they live, you know, maybe now because he's a boy, he lives in Ireland be interesting i don't know will i be doing any other games besides minecraft now yeah no i have had other games previously on my channel but all you guys seem to absolutely love minecraft and i feel like if i went away from that i would lose interest in some of you so maybe i will um do a couple other games but to be honest it's just finding the games finding you know making i don't know yeah maybe i to be honest we'll see we'll see i don't know how do I know Niall? I met Niall through Site UHC. He actually told me this the other day, um, which I thought was really weird. Um, he saw me on Stacey's video because me and him are both fangirls of Stacey. Um, and he saw me on her, his vlog, her vlog, sorry, no offense, Stacey. Um, went through to my channel and like, you know, watched a few of my videos. And then a week later, we invited him through Site just because um, Bloxy had found his channel. And then he got added to a call. And it was really funny because he was like, um, Kirsten, uh, he was like, um, you sound like, uh, he didn't actually know, I don't think he, that I was Squig at the time, and um, he was like, you sound like someone that was in Stacey Plays videos, and I was like, oh yeah, I was, and he was like, oh really, because he didn't realise that I was actually the person he'd watched a video of, um, uh, before, so I met him through Site UHC, and he is, he is awesome person, he's so kind, and I'm so glad that he is in my life, along with all my other friends. How long have I been playing Minecraft? I've been playing Minecraft for three years, I think, two years, I don't know... When 1.6 was out, I don't know if that shows anything, but yeah, quite a while. Have you ever had a really embarrassing moment? Yes, I have had so many, it's ridiculous. I always um, do something that's stupid or I regret or I just say something that I'm instantly like, Oh god, should not have said that. Um, all the time I get embarrassed. Minecraft with mods or without mods? Uh, Minecraft games like servers without mods but just general vanilla Minecraft with mods. My favorite sport is probably football. Can you put face cam on vids? I would love it if you can. Stay tuned, I have got face cam videos coming out for you guys. I noticed that you guys seem to enjoy them more and I do enjoy them a bit more. Um, I have uh, two videos coming out with face cam and I'll do further ones and I know I should do more because I think they're a lot more interesting to watch so I will be doing more of those. Would I ever date someone that doesn't live in my country? Usually I wouldn't ask this but I guess it is a get to know me kind of Q&A so yeah I probably would. It's kind of hard to date someone in a different country but I'm 14. I'm not really into that stuff just yet. I don't know. You have crushes and stuff but maybe we'll see who we meet along the way and if we ever feel the, feel the vibes to someone that much. Will I ever play Minecraft Pocket Edition? I used to play Minecraft Pocket Edition before I had real Minecraft and it was like, I don't know if it was even by Mojang, but it was like a free version that was really bad, you couldn't save your world. And I absolutely loved it. And maybe I'll play Pocket Edition, I don't know. 
it depends do you like pvp and parkour i love them both okay can you um please release your texture pack <laughs> guys i honestly <laughs> sorry that made a really loud noise i honestly want to release my texture pack but the thing is i've taken bits from loads of different texture packs if i do release it um and people think i'm taking money off it i just don't think i'm allowed to because i've could classes taking claim for other people's texture packs and the other question was let me just find it and can you do minecraft roleplay like i said before i would like to start doing a minecraft roleplay i just kind of need a server what is your take on australians we all know that i love a bit of the aussie accent i love australians i would love to go to australia and you know karate i know what it is but i can't do karate so i don't really know it that well do you enjoy school mm, sometimes but mainly not what do i love the most about youtube and recording i love getting amazing like i love having like comments that are really supportive sasha like you know i really enjoyed this video and that just makes you feel good or saying nice video i subscribed it's like yeah okay i'm making a video people are enjoying it and it's having an effect so i love making videos that i you know it's really motivating it's a really good thing to do with your spare time um and it's just something that i love to do and yeah i think the comments are the main thing like the viewers and you know seeing people um enjoy my videos my favorite food is food i mean it's kind of bad nutella crepes they're amazing how tall am i i am very short i am like 4'10 i think 4 foot 10 do i have any social medias okay i have youtube twitter twitch i don't really use it that much instagram that's four instagram is private though you guys, some of you have found me on there and I do accept some of the requests, but I don't generally um, display that because that is private. And Facebook I can't be bothered with because it's just full of rubbish. And anything else like Tumblr and stuff, also can't be bothered with. Thank you so much for asking these questions. Honestly, it's amazing to see 180 people comment a question. That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. If you could give this video a thumbs up, it would be awesome, amazing great um subscribe if you haven't already if you actually have any friends that you think might enjoy the channel but yeah be sure to track it tell them about it i've never said that before but yeah also all my social medias speaking of social medias and one of the questions are in the description below um and it's just amazing that you guys bother to ask me questions so thank you so much for that and if you want me to do another q a give this video a thumbs up obviously not right now but yeah i'll see you guys next Ugh. i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching <gasps> goodbye Buddy, buddy, better.